Hello, 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 hello fellow Dragonites, this is Dragonheart and welcome to part 2 of my YouTube small channel tutorial. Today we shall be looking at software and hardware. So let's jump to the next screen. Okay, so first up we have software and I'm going to look at Fraps to begin with. This is the software I use to record most of my gameplay on PC. So this is the home page of Fraps as you can see. And you can actually try it out for free which is what I did initially before I actually purchased Fraps. It gives you some examples here of different uh, frames per second and different resolutions that you can have the game. So you've got World of Warcraft, you have Far Cry, you have Balance and you have Trackmania Sunrise. I haven't got a clue what that game is but they're on there as a as a kind of example. We have news, so look at the news. And there we go, February 26, 2013, Fraps 3.5.99 was released. That must be their newest uh, update, and they've got different up updates in the change log, which I can highlight here. Um, and then you've got buy, so this is the important thing. So how much does it cost? Well, it costs £23 in Great British uh, Pounds. I'm not quite sure what that would be in dollars. I could actually show you. If I go into Google here, let's see, pounds, two dollars, that's what I want. And what was it, £23? It would be about £38. So that's what it would be in dollars. And Fraps is pretty good, it's what I use, like I said. Um, the only thing I would say with Fraps is the file sizes can be extremely big. So you may want to um, try and download something separate to reduce the file size. I've downloaded Handbrake, which if I minimize my desktop, you get to see my little background here. I have Handbrake, if I click on it here, and show you what Handbrake is when it loads up. It does take a while to load up. There we go. It's loading up uh, currently. This is what Handbrake looks like, and basically all you do is go into Source, Open File, and I got some of my Total War videos here. It's actually a good example to you. So as you can see, Carthage number eight was two million six hundred and eight thousand five hundred and ninety KB. That's how big the file size was, and that would have taken me forever to upload to YouTube. But above it is what I used, ha what I did in Handbrake, and it's actually reduced it to two hundred and ten thousand. So it's a useful tool to have if you're trying to reduce file sizes. It is a bit tricky to use, so I've got a, a preset which I've made myself here, which is called YouTube Two Pass. Now, basically, that ticks web optimize. You want to have your average bitrate of a thousand with two pass encoding on and a constant frame rate. You bring your audio down slightly to 128, and that's basically it. Just save that as a preset. Um, there should be a button here somewhere. Right, click on to add. You, add you, pick, you click on to add and you rename it and that adds it to the to your preset list. So you've only got to click on it once and it brings it up automatically. So that's what I use to reduce my file sizes. If I bring Fraps back up now. So that's basically Fraps and that's Handbrake kind of uh, merged into it as well. I'm going to bring on to another uh, tab now, Bandicam. So this is Bandicam. Uh, I've never used Bandicam so I'm not really going to be an expert at telling you what Bandicam is like. I do understand it has a free trial, the same as Fraps, and it costs twenty-six pound five pence in uh, pounds. So that would be let's see, twenty-six, twenty-six pound fifty. It's about forty-three dollars in dollars, U.S. dollars, and yeah, uh, it's DirectX, AVI, rectangle screen recording, image capture. So you can have BMP, PNG, and JPG. Uh, you've got frames per second control and overlay the same as fraps. You can create extremely small file sizes. So that's something which I might be tempted to look into because, like I said earlier, fraps is a, does have some big file sizes for me at the moment, and I have to use Handbrake to reduce them. So this might be some, a way forward for me. Um, record video for more than 24 hours. You can record video up to 2,560 by 1,600 resolution. That's good if you've got a big screen, big monitor. Upload straight to YouTube without converting. So that's also an interesting thing. But that, that's whether you would like to. That's basically whether you would just record raw gameplay to YouTube or whether you would include things in editing. I tend to include things like my intro and outro and stuff like that. Maximum file size is over 3.9 gigs. So that's good. Uh, you've got a tutorial, download, got a home screen. If I click on the home screen, see what it says. Oh, th oh this is the home screen. <laughs> uh, scroll down. So we've got how to use it. They've got a video showing you how to use it. and a rectangle on the screen so you just place the rectangle over your gameplay basically so yeah that's interesting so that's basically if you're going to be doing PC gaming now we're going to move on to uh, external kind of uh, recording software such as the Elgato and basically things 
which can record your consoles such as Xbox and PlayStation. Okay, so we have we're on Amazon and we have the Elgato Game Capture HD. Now I actually own this product and I paid around about the same price as that. Not a bad price. It was 179.99 as you can see it's been slashed. That's what it was when it was brand new. If I click on it and yeah, this is what the Elgato looks like. You have your whoops, let's bring that back. You have your HDM, HDMI out and your USB on the one side. You have your AV in and your HDMI in on the other side. Nice kind of black kind of metallic looking finish to it. Looks beautiful. And that's what it looks like com uh, connected to your Xbox. And that is what it looks like connected to your PlayStation. Now I have one of these. I have recorded some PlayStation footage. That's basically what it looks like on the PC or laptop. You have a little uh, screen on the right hand side which has capture. And then you have edit. It gives you some options to... Um, record your audio so you can have your audio captured through the actual console or you can have your audio captured through your PC and then overlaid over the top so it gives you some options the only thing I would say you need to you, if you're gonna buy this off Amazon click on the add both the basket because this gives you the HDMI cable 6.5 feet uh, you're probably gonna need this it's I think it does miss that one cable in the actual product itself so you know like with my, my myself I have a my PlayStation is basically the other side of the room to where my PC is, so I like to have an extra long HDMI just to just to reach. And yeah, if you scroll down now, we can see key features. So record your PlayStation or Xbox gameplay to a PC or Mac. It's got built-in live stream into Twitch. You've got full HD 1080p capture, so that sounds very good indeed. Lag-free HDMI pass through to the TV. Flashback recording feature to record retroactive oh god I can't see that retroactively <laughs> one click share into YouTube Facebook and Twitter and it's compact size and easy setup I agree with that completely that last sentence it is very small it's no bigger than a than a Game Boy to be honest it's very tiny and yeah it doesn't get in the way at all and it is fairly easy to set up it gives you an example here if I can click on this view larger there we go that's basically your TV that's your PC or your laptop and then you click into you click one HDMI into the TV, you click your USB from the capture card into the PC or the laptop and then the other end of the capture card goes into the console and that's basically it. So it's three things you plug in and it just you just load it up onto the PC and that's basically all it is. So it's fairly easy to use and it's one I would recommend from my own experiences. Now if we go back and we have the I can't I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Hapau Haponj? Anyway, it's called a HD PVR2, and this is another one which has been recommended. It's slightly, slightly cheaper than the Elgato. It's um, about twenty pound cheaper in British money. This is what it looks like. It looks a little bit like an Xbox, to be honest. Same kind of colours. That's what the back looks like. So rather than having it at two different sides, this one has it as all in one HDMI out and in AV and USB all in the back. We have a setup. So there we go. To be honest, looking at this screen, it doesn't look as easy to set up, but I think that's just the layout of the photo, because they've got everything kind of going all over the place. So you've got your TV into the HDMI out, you have your console into the HDMI in, your USB into your PC or laptop, and then you've got your AV in for your PlayStation. So one goes in one, one goes in the other. Um, that's what the box looks like. It's your standard kind of uh, capture card box. I have a video here, I won't play the video. And then that's basically the project properties. That looks an awful lot like um, Sony Vegas. You have the same kind of box on Sony Vegas where you have to put your width, your height, and uh, yeah, stuff like that. And it looks like they have the same kind of system for this. It does come with other stuff if you add all to baskets. So you can get a Trust Stars microphone. Don't know how good that microphone is, so I don't know whether you should bother with that or not. It also has a pop shield which you can clip, clip onto the end of the microphone to reduce kind of your, your hissing sound. So for instance if I was going like that, when I'm talking you might pick up on that microphone but with a pop shield you wouldn't, well you shouldn't uh, pick that sound up. And yeah you've got your advertisement page then for this as well. So you've got your upload straight to YouTube and your share your best games with your friend in HD. So that's that's an important one because you know it depends what type of person you are when you upload to YouTube. Like 
like I tend to upload gameplay which is edited uh, like I said earlier with my intros and outros so I wouldn't probably use that feature but if you're somebody that just wants to show show off some of your gameplay you know you, you're in Battlefield 4 or, or Call of Duty you've just gone on a massive kill streak and basically you just want to share it with your friends and upload it to YouTube then that might be beneficial to you but it probably wouldn't be to me um, depends who you are at the end of the day uh, you've got new features here for the HD PVR 2 gaming edition so uh, it was specifically designed for the dedicated Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 gamer and makes the installation easy yet still brings the excellent video quality of the original HD PVR. It features HDMI, no delay pass through at up to 1080p with HDMI cables, component into the HDMI out to support the PlayStation 3, plus a record button to start the recording without having to be at your PC. And HD PVR 2 has a new smaller design to make carrying to your friend's home to record their gameplay super easy. I think that pretty much sums this one up. Um, it supports 1080, like I said, 720 and 480p. It's got some of the features by here as well, and technical specifications. Uh, so that you can read you can read all these off the screen. So I won't go into all of them. But that's basically what the HD PVR2 is. I go back now, and then we, this is the third one. Uh, there's a couple I'm going to actually re review all four of these because. I've heard of all of them and they all get different prices. So this is the Ava Media Game Capture or Ava Media Game Capture HD2. Um, Lionheart recently actually reviewed this product so I recommend watching his review to get a full review of this product. It's pretty new compared to the others. I think it came out this year or maybe maybe the end of last year. I'm not 100% certain. Does it have a release date on here? See more product details. Ah, here we go. Date first available, 24th of September 2013. So it's fairly new. So if I scroll back up, we've only got five left in stock at the moment on Amazon. They're 122.99. So they're about the same price as the Elgato HD capture card. I'm assuming that this uh, Ava Media and the Elgato are probably the, the two most expensive that you can get on the market at the moment. I have uh, Elgato capture card personally, and I think it's beastly. So. That's my kind of prerogative on the on which one to choose. I can't speak for this one because I never used it, but if you want to get an in-depth review, check out Lionheart's channel. I'll actually put a link to his review of this in the description. But any, anyway, let's go to the essentials. So it's the HDMI, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and Wii U. So plenty of things supported. I like the fact it's got Xbox One and PlayStation 4 uh, in their description because um, they're new consoles, of course. This is a new capture card. This has obviously been built to support those systems. It's got a component cable for the PlayStation 3. It has a 3.5mm audio for the microphone. It has an output HDMI pass-through, 3.5mm audio headphone as well, and a network connection LAN cable. Resolution supported, now this is important, 480i, 480p, 576i, 576p, 720p, 1080i and 1080p. So you can get pretty much everything. All the resolutions that matter are on this. You can have 1080p at 60 frames per second. Max recording resolution 1080p at 30 frames per second. You have a recording format of MP4. Storage 2.5 HDD or USB HDD. Package includes, so it comes with a game capture HD2, which is what this is. It comes with a HDMI cable. It comes with a power adapter remote control with batteries included it comes with a quick installation guide and a user's manual so this might be up your alley if you're looking to record some gameplay off your console you know, maybe, maybe you had a new Xbox One or a PlayStation 4 for Christmas and you're thinking that you wouldn't mind uploading some of your gameplay to YouTube but well, this might be the one for you um, I could probably look at the reviews actually that might be a good idea let me just see what this comes with so this comes with a Toshiba 500 gig uh, external hard drive. That's what it comes with. Um, 36.99. That's not bad. I got an external hard drive, a Samsung. Uh, it's actually by here, the one I've got, bottom right. If I click onto it, this is the one I I own at the moment, a Samsung M3 1 TB USB. I actually got mine for a little bit less, so they've gone back up in price. I paid about 42, 43 pound for mine. They are handy to have if you're going to be doing YouTube like I'm doing. So I would re recommend buying one of these um, as soon as you can because I can store videos, I can use it for video editing. It's a, it's a lifesaver to be honest. But anyway, uh, I want to look at the description of the Ava Media. 
the reviewers should say the product does as advertised on Amazon so this person is saying that it does what it says be aware that other Amazon sites are selling it without giving the full info of the limits of the product as they say are third party seller pages and not Ava Media so um, yeah, that's basically that you can review this full review you can read this full review uh, off my screen now or you can uh, go on Amazon yourself and check it out I think that pretty much covers Ava Media and now we move on to the fourth one which I want to look at which is the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro and this is the Roxio Game Capture HD it is $89.99 so it's cheaper than the others it has a uh, video input adapter external enclosure type high speed USB it has a form factor external interface type component video input capture gaming footage in HD stream gameplay and commentary live you can edit and you can share so it does pretty much what you'd expect from a capture card that's what the box looks like and it actually shows Xbox and PlayStation gameplay on the front uh, there's some other images of it here capture share and stream your most memorable Xbox and PlayStation gameplay in stunning HD quality that's what the device looks like looks like most of the other ones to be honest it's got the same kind of input and output mechanisms I should say and it shows you how it's connected so one goes into the console one goes into the TV and one goes into the PC or laptop which is pretty much standard for these products um, I never use this to be honest I think one of my friends has one of these and he's pretty happy with it I would say that it's more of a budget um, capture card compared to the others um, it's about £30 cheaper than the previous two which I've mentioned the Ava Media and the Elgato but then again if you, if you can afford the extra 30 I would go one of the other two probably but you know it depends who you are what you're looking for so product description so we have um, system requirements here so Windows 8, Windows 7 Intel Core 2 Duo processor uh, it's pretty much standard this is for most of these products actually I didn't mention them on the previous but um, it comes with box contains the actual capture card USB cable Roxio game capture and video editing software so it comes with its own video editing software so that's important to look at so I'll look for a larger image of it that's where it looks like their software so you've got, you've got your source, your input you've got your settings uh, you've got the time which is the video has been going on for record time left so it looks like it's got 388 hours 9 minutes on there space left on drive 276.5 gig so yeah this is pretty much what the Roxio game capture looks like now out of these four products which I've looked at on Amazon it is totally up to you which one you go for but this is you're only going to be wanting to buy one of these if you're going to be recording uh, gameplay from a console on a regular basis because as you can see they are quite expensive they're all in excess of a hundred pound or more You've got 126 pound there 99 pound there 129.90 there and 90 pound there so they're all in excess of 100 pound or more and you're going to want to be uh, committed to uploading videos to YouTube if you're going to buy one of these um, I have one and I'm going to be using it a bit more often than I have been I was thinking of doing some Tomb Raider or some Skyrim or something uh, using my Elgato and that's what I'm going to be doing in future videos on my gaming channel but yeah that's basically it for this segment of the video I'm now going to move on to uh, hardware okay so welcome to this segment this segment I'm going to be looking at hardware for your PC and for when you're going to be looking to record some gameplay to YouTube so this first page is PC Gamer it's an article I recommend you checking out um, build your own steam machine so they've got articles on you saying what you can what they recommend you can build with your uh, PC so you may want to look at that article you have another one here, PC Gamer Rig, New CPUs, Motherboards and more. How to build a gaming PC. So these are all things which if you're looking to build a PC, particularly for gaming, then I recommend looking at this. A graphics upgrade or or is it we have a hard drive bargain driver uh, driver a uh, driven. <laughs> um PC Gamer I actually subscribe I uh, don't subscribe to, but I actually buy their magazines on a fairly regular basis. They do have some good hardware stuff in the back of those magazines. And this is a web page which, you know, use this as your first port of call before handing down money because uh, you want to make sure you're getting the most uh, for your money's worth so first tab is Intel Sandy Bridge i5 2500k this is the processor which I own I upgraded it a couple of months ago on Amazon it is £194.60 
don't pay that by any means because if you search around you can get a better deal now I bought mine brand new off eBay and I paid £160 so I had it for 34 nearly £35 cheaper than what this is going for on Amazon so you need to shop around it's a very good very handy very sturdy processor it does pretty much anything I want with it there are of course better processors out there but if you're looking for a good solid uh, i5 or more then this would be a good way, uh, place to start I used to have a actually I'll show you what I used to have you'll see the price difference now I used to have an i3 2120 this is what I used to have and look at the price difference the i3 2120 is 89 pound 83 so it's uh, twice the price basically and as you can tell it's twice as good and you're gonna get a lot better for your money's worth so that's what I would recommend from my own experiences uh, of using this for YouTube stuff it's pretty good it's also can be used with Sony Vegas 12 so for instance on Sony Vegas 12 if I bring you on to Sony Vegas 12 go to file if I go into render render as let this load up a minute this is actually the video I'm making currently at the moment so it's like a sneak peek and if you go on to uh, where is it about nope that's not about messed that one up uh, oh my god I'm trying to remember how to work this out now <laughs> customize template is right in front of me go on to customize template and you've got encode mode if you click on to the drop down it gives you different things so you can use my CPU or my GPU so if you're a Sony Vegas user I'd recommend picking one of these basically the processing power from your uh, CPU will help in editing your video it will help speed up so for instance the video I'm making now is going to probably be just under half an hour long so uh, this will it'll probably take about half an hour 35 minutes to 40 minutes to render whereas without having those options clicked on it might take me 40 50 60 minutes it could take twice as long so it's a handy little thing to be aware of but this is my processor this is what I currently have in my PC we'll now move on to graphics cards now my graphics card is a GTX 770 NVIDIA GeForce there's loads and loads and loads of GTX 770s so you're going to have to shop around and find the best one for you as you can see uh, my one I don't think is actually on Amazon let me see uh, it doesn't look like it mine is MSI the the make of mine is MSI there's loads of different makes you can have uh, EVGA you got Asus you got Gigabyte Gigabyte actually I used to have Gigabyte for my GTX 650 so they're not a bad brand basically these these brands mean mean nothing Go gigabyte again. Uh, you've got this one is probably a, a better price because this is a GTX 770, but it's 250 pound. That's not too bad compared to some of these. Look, that's 294. Oh, mind you, that's four gig. That's that's why. But anyway, mine cost me uh, 230 pound off eBay again. So two of the things which I've two of the main things I have bought for my PC I've actually bought off eBay, and they've been very good. Um, for my computer, they've been very good prices, and I know I've probably saved. Let me think. I saved nearly forty pound a night with the with the i5. Well, it's thirty five pound I saved. This is going for two fifty. Let's go back to the first page. Just sorry about the scrolling. Let's go to the first page. Yeah, two about two hundred and fifty pound. I got it for two hundred and thirty, so I've saved myself uh, about twenty five. So twenty five add thirty five. What's that? A sixty pound. So I've saved myself sixty pound basically on two items. So that's the difference between buying things off Amazon full price and actually shopping around. So yeah, I would definitely uh, recommend going on eBay and some other stuff. Actually, I might go on eBay now. Let's just uh, let's go on eBay for a second. I I want to show you guys uh, in this video some little tips and tricks. Ooh, password time. <gasps> you can see my password. Uh, I actually can't remember my login details. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, my passwords will automatically come up. My last name, by the way, for those who don't know what that was. Continue to my eBay, and we're going to go on to search, and we are going to go on to uh, what is it? GTX. Oh my God, what happened there? GTX 770, and we want two gig. Cause that's what I've got. The two gig. I wouldn't really. I don't know whether you would want a three gig or a four gig. Only really if you do lots and lots of video editing, may it be handy. And as you can see, we have different prices on here we have a GTX uh, EVGA 33 bids 82 pound uh, 255 for that one we want brand new don't we so we're going to new on the left hand side I want to buy it now because I don't want to really bid 
for instance, and then we'll go on to the lowest with the post and packaging. Okay, so we have one by here, 770 GTX 2 gig. Let's buy it now. It's £241.19. I don't know. I'm going to look at the advert for this a second. Oh, it's in dollars. Oh my god. It's 185 There we go. So it's £185 in in uh, British money. The postage is 16 Even with the postage being 16 This is from the United States, by the way. That's why it's in dollars. But even with that, you're getting that for about 40 to £50 cheaper than the brand new ones. And this is Zotac. It doesn't mean a thing, basically. It's basically customer service. So you've got Zotac, you have EVGA, Gigabyte, MSI, so forth. It doesn't mean a thing. They're all basically... Uh, I'm actually, most of these are from the United States. That's weird. What have I done wrong? Have I done something wrong? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's basically the GTX. A scope on check my i5 2500K uh, processor. See what prices we got. Buy it now. We want new. I mean, you could buy a used one, I suppose, but I think you might be taking a risk with uh, computer parts. So here we go. We got an i5. From Germany, this one is. It's two hundred and fourteen pound. It's brand new. It's a buy it now. That's not a bad price as well. For a actually no, that is a bad price. Uh, I just remember what how much I paid. I paid one hundred and sixty for mine. I don't know why that's so much. It's free delivery, but no, I wouldn't go for this one. We have, oh God, some of the prices are ridiculous on this, aren't they? Hmm. Okay. Um. <laughs> they're making a bad example of it now. I'm gonna come out of eBay, but yeah, you, you get where I'm coming from. So you want to check basically what um, what you're going in for. So if I want to buy this, for example, I maybe I don't want to pay that much. Have a look around. Uh, Scan is another good one as well to check out. Actually, that's what I should have checked out in the beginning. Oh, face palm. Scan GTX 770. It should come up on their website. Scan. I actually bought mine off eBay, but the eBay seller was Scan itself. So they they got an online store through eBay, and that's basically what mine is, but there. That is basically what mine is. And the beautiful thing with Scan is they actually have games come with them. So, for example, look, if you look at this screen back here, we have an EVGA. It's 2 gig, 770. You've got, you've got to pay £4.16 next day delivery. It's got good customer reviews. It's, uh, it's £299.72, but it comes with Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. This one is £251. It is a 2 gig gain mode GTX 770. It also comes with Black Flag. And this one as well, this is a 2 gig MSI GTX 770. And again, it comes with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. This was my kind of, this is what my uh, graphics card looks like. It uh, is a 2 gig scan GTX 770. Uh, mine came with Batman Arkham Origins and I had it for the same price. So if you're looking for a GTX 770, look at this by here. You probably won't get a much better price than that because they are they are an expensive car they were worth a lot more than what they are retailing at at the moment so chop around but i would recommend this one if you're looking for a graphics card and now this is of course is my uh, samsung m3 one tb usb if you're going to do video editing you're going to do youtube then i suggest buying yourself one of these uh, they have got different options here so you can have 1.5 which is 66 pound nine pence you can go for a two tb which is £83, you can go for a 500 gig, which is 37.99. So yeah, I would go. For, I'd probably go for one of the cheaper ones, like 500 gig or 1TB. Mine's a 1TB. I had mine for a little bit less though, so, so again, chop around. You might find a decent uh, price for what you're looking for. But that is pretty much it for the hardware. So now we'll go back to the final screen. Hey guys, welcome back. So that pretty much sums this video up. So. What I would say is make sure you check out um, what you're paying for. You can get some good offers. So for instance, you can save yourself, like I mentioned in the video, you can save yourself perhaps 30, 40, 50, 60 pound on some products. Just go to shop around. Uh, look for some decent hardware and software if you're going to be doing YouTube because you're going to need it. When I first started YouTube, I had a uh, Radeon or Radeon HD 6670, which is a, you know, it was a fairly good graphics card for what it did, but for intense gaming and recording it wasn't that good at all so I had to upgrade and that, that graphics card was worth about £66 uh, I then went for a GTX 650 2 gig which was a, which was an, an improvement it was good it worked pretty well with Shogun 2 I was able to play Shogun 2 on pretty good graphics but again I wanted to upgrade I wanted to experience better gaming 
so I ended up spending more money on a new graphics card. The same with my processor, like I alluded to earlier, I had a i3-2120 processor. I ended up upgrading to an i5-2500K. So again, you know, you're going to be spending a lot of money, and if you're like me, you know, you save up, you try to get the best deals that you can. But yeah, I know I saved myself 60, 70 pounds on my graphics card, my processor, just by looking for the best deals, and it's the best thing that you guys can do as well. So just check eBay, check Amazon, check um, Play.com, and other websites as well. They're pretty good for, you know, to just look for some ca comparisons, look for the best thing that you, that you can get for. And yeah, I would, the other thing as well I should mention with software, I wouldn't recommend getting a capture card unless you're going to be doing a lot of uh, videos for you to using your Xbox or your PlayStation simply because it's a lot of money to spend on something you're not going to use that often. You need to be using it often to get the full value out of it. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, it would help me out a lot if you gave me a like. Uh, share with me your thoughts in the comments section and let me know what uh, rigs you have for your PC and how your YouTube channels are going. So I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.